We're going to continue on with using the LFO as a ramp generator, but this time we are going to use uh, wavetables. Uh, so, I have an init patch here. Eight foot sawtooth, nothing special. Okay, we're going to set up two oscillators. So we'll start with oscillator one. Set an additive harmony. Detune at about minus two. Go to oscillator two. Set it the same wavetable. And go plus two. Check that. Minus two. Plus two. Yes. Now on each of these oscillators, we're going to set pulse width to 64. Now they're standing by to have an LFO as a ramp generator. So let's do that. We're going to have two ramps. We'll set the first one up. Go to square wave. Speed of zero. Delay of 48. Fade of 48. On oscillator one. Set pulse, pulse width to LFO 1, minus 56, and an oscillator 2, set to LFO 1, plus 56. something I forgot to do here. Set start phase to zero. <laughs> now, I want to set up a second LFO for the initial phase because it starts, it does a transition over about two seconds after two seconds. So on LFO2, I set up the square wave, speed of zero, and a fade of minus 42. Now I'm not going to set any um, start phase because I want it to be free. Go to my mod matrix. I start at 9, I say LFO2 will be assigned to 01 pitch plus 56 and write another mod matrix number 10 LFO2 to 02 pitch uh, PW and wave plus 56. That gives you the basic idea. What's happening is LFO one uh, doesn't start in for about two seconds because I have set a delay of 48, which roughly works out for about two seconds approximately. And that is affecting the pulse width on both oscillators through this setting here. And in the mod matrix, I'm assigning LFO2, which starts off immediately but fades out. So that would be the beginning portion. <laughs> Anyhow, that's the basics. 